What is predictive programming? I'm glad you asked. To find out more, just keep watching this video. But in the meantime, stay up to date with everything iconic by following us on all of our social media. Don't forget to like our videos and subscribe to our channel. To support us, you can go to patreon.com slash the iconic podcast and make a monthly pledge. You can also go to the iconic label.com and purchase some of our merchandise. Now let's get back to it. Predictive programming is the foreshadowing of events in the media before they happen. It can be in the form of any media, such as album covers, posters, cartoons, magazines, commercials, TV shows, and movies. Just to give you a good idea about what it's like so that you'll notice it when you see it, a good example of this is back in the 1940s with a 1948 film entitled State of the Union, starring Spencer Tracy and Katherine Hepburn, which talk about a new world order in the form of uniting all the nations of the world under a federal head, just like the 50 states of the United States, unionized under the federal government. This is predictive programming back in the 1940s. And I'm going to tell them that there's only one government which is capable of handling the atomic control, world disarmament, world employment, world peace, and that's a world government. The people of 13 states started the United States of America. Well, I think that the people of that many nations are now ready to start a United States of the world with or without Russia. And I mean a United States of the world with one Bill of Rights, one international law, one international currency, one international citizenship. If you wanted to do something like this on a global scale, how would you implement it and in every nation without everybody knowing what's going on and what the real deal is? Well, the answer to that question is Agenda 21 and Agenda 2030 with the 17 Sustainable Development Goals. And this is done through public-private partnerships between, well, the United Nations and corporations like Vanguard, BlackRock, State Street, and Berkshire Hathaway, who own entire industries as well as their corporations. And then you have NGOs like the World Economic Forum and philanthropic foundations like the Rockefellers or the Bill and Melinda Gates or the Ford or the Carnegie Foundations and, of course, state, federal, and local governments. All of this under the umbrella of the 17 Sustainable Development Goals outlined in Agenda 21 and Agenda 2030, agreed to by 170 nations back in 1992. Sustainable development is a, well, it's a global to local inventory control strategy to consolidate and standardize all systems of the entire world and its resources. It is from this that we get the ESGs, or Environmental Social Governance, or the three E's, Economy, Ecology, and Equity, and Smart Cities, and Smart Grids, Social Credit Systems, Track and Trace, etc. Now, sustainability doesn't sound too bad, does it? Kind of sounds like a good thing. Rosa Corey, an expert legal witness for the California Department of Transportation and Land Use and Land Valuation, gives us a good overview of Agenda 21. This is a plan that was agreed to by 179 nations. It's called the Agenda for the 21st Century. It's a totalitarian state to being developed right now all over the world. It is the inventory and control plan. Inventory and control of all land, all water, all minerals, all plants, all animals, all construction, all means of production, all food, all energy, all information, and all human beings in the world. And this is a plan that was agreed to by 179 nations back in 1992. It's a United Nations plan. It's called the Agenda for the 21st Century. It's about moving populations into city centers, concentrated city centers, and clearing them out of the rural areas. All systems have to be brought into harmony in order to control them all. Because when systems don't meet, when they're, when they're out of balance or not in sync with one another, they can't be controlled centrally. And the goal of Agenda 21 is one world government and total control from a central unit. Every nation that signed on to Agenda 21 has its, uh, its local Agenda 21 plan. The three pillars of United Nations Agenda 21 are economy, ecology, and equity, the three E's. And really what social equity is about is about impoverishing huge portions of the population and bringing down 
uh, develop the developed nations. All of us have a responsibility to ourselves and to others. This is true community, and I do believe that we will win, but we have to become aware that there is a fight and then make our friends and our neighbors and our community aware as well and work together.